think the last time I had actually played this game was several years ago. But it's by far one of my favorite. I, I really like Riven, Exile, and Revelation. Though, after having just played Riven, like, the worlds were nice and such, but Exile just has beautiful, beautiful realms. Now, I hear something cheeping. Oh, that's the book we need to get back to, to get back to Jinanin. Is it like a nest? I, I find it so interesting that this world has just plants used as puzzles. Like, these? These look like you could slide down them. That would be a lot of fun. And I'm just being careful to look at the path because Savedro actually, he must have been running around these ages or something because he just leaves pieces of paper behind. What makes me curious though is how, why did Cirrus and Akinar specifically trap him? Oh, look at those beautiful lagoon waters. I keep hearing cheeping. Is a little baby bird hungry? And those are like bioluminescent pods of some sort that are providing light. Well, <laughs> do I want to uh, get onto this sort of frilly, veiny plant? Whoa! I wonder what kind of evolutionary process would result in this. Like, why would it want to lift things up and down? Getting a little dizzy here. Huh? Is... Oh! There's a bird! Oh, is she going over to the nest? Oh, That's... The baby bird was just hungry. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> have a little worm for him. Yeah. Brought a number of worms, apparently. And I can't seem to touch those little bulbs. Can I walk out here? Oh, yes, I can. That's... Okay. She seems to be leaving. She might even be what the symbol for this world is based off of, the bird. What's in here? Don't know where that goes. But there's a kind of basin. Can't seem to interact with it now. And this one's closed. It doesn't want to open up. Oh, the poor baby bird wants more food. All right. Is this another viewing plant? seem to look at that. Maybe it's one of those things where you have to, like, shine a light on it. I'll just leave it on there. It looks like we can actually leave it aimed at a particular spot. Oh! Hey, guys. Can you, can you get out of the way? Ooh. It's convenient that these plants have buttons on them. 
That's right, you retract there. Now let's open you up. Come on, heat up, heat up water. Whoa! And that seems to be providing water. Oh, that's gonna let us go down. Perfect. Anything else around here? Aside from the plant? No. Oh. Wait, what's that? Oh, it is a way back to Janine. So if we really needed to, we could always go back. Oh, I thought that we were going to be stuck here. But let's keep exploring this place. Cheepy cheepy. Okay. And now we have a way down. Well, we know where we can get out if we need to. So the question is, where are these symbols that he keeps referring to? There's one situated on each age, and we need to maybe put them on that light viewer. Whoa, this is making me dizzy, guys. Ah. And we could probably go back up on that if we really needed to. Love the music here too. There's fern. Well, not ferns, but fronds. Whoa! Is that. Is that some kind of cuttlefish? It's glowing. I wonder how it ended up in here. seem to be a way to interact with it now. Oh, I love bioluminescence. Look at all these pretty purples. Just checking the pathways for potential pages. I'd like to get more of Saavedra's story because so far he just seems like a villain that's taking advantage of poor Atris, but he might have his reasons. Oh, it's another bulb. Oh, we're actually drawing water into it? Whoa, what? It sucked the cuttlefish in? Well, now we have a glowy cuttlefish or bo- Uh, speaking of pages. I have desecrated the poem he placed on in the columns. I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in his worlds. I think I can do something with sap to cover the second one, but I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Perhaps if I bring in some of the un unusual floating stone from Amateria, something about the molecular composition of the rock in the age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Well, magnetism. Maybe if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. Okay. I'll have to conduct some experiments. He's trying to do basic math here. Oh, and we already read that one. Okay. Well, there's that. Can I go down further? Yeah, so that's where we came from. And this is where we're going. Oh! Is this like a furled leaf? Unfortunately, I can't walk that way because it, it's currently closed, but there seems to be a button on the opposite end. Oh, more of these bulbous things. And some kind of vine? With a swing on it? What? 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 What 
happened? Oh no, did, did something happen to her? Where am I going? Oh. Can I tug on this? Oh, it provides light. It opens it up like a tongue. Oh, and there's the the glowing orb. Oh. Wait, that looks like a hutch of some sort. That activates something. But not now. I need to get through there. It has a little symbol to go over. Whoa! There are berries here. Huh. Take a berry off. Oh, is this so I can? Is this so I can capture one of those? Oh, I can't push that at all. Maybe that's a little squee home. Oh, I see. I can come up this way. Oh, or go down. It's more like a slide. That. That way ensures that you can't go up there immediately. I see. Oh! Oh! Hi, Squee. Oh, I feel bad about doing this. Do we have to catch him? Oh, well the problem is, if we just swing over there, he's gonna run away. That's what they actually call them, uh, squeeze. They do make awfully cute little noises. Oh, poor little thing. Here, I'll let you out. We just want you to get on that bridge so you can use your call. I wonder if this guy falls for it every single time. Wouldn't be surprised. There we go. If we move it out of the path, then maybe that odd device will just scare him as opposed to catch him. Yeah, now he's out from underneath it. Okay, sorry again, Squee. <laughs> Whoa! Well, there goes that. Well, now we have a way across. Now we can get to the other side. Whoa! Otherwise we would have hit our head on that uh, log had we tried. Okay. Oh, this is actually where we wanted to go. We were up there. And this was the tongue that we couldn't get to. There we go. So now we have a way back. We don't have to go through the whole rigmarole constantly. Okay. So we're here. 
Is there anything gonna come out of there? No. I wonder what happened to the mama bird. She sounded like she was trapped or captured. Oh, I hear something. Is... Who's in there? guys remember the um, device from before that electrocuted it? If we can electrocute this thing, it'll let her out. We need to save her. But how do we get electricity down here? Is there anything that I can use? We have to find water and find a way to use the electrification. Sorry if I'm like zipping around with the mouse. It just. I need to find like pages on the ground. I don't want to miss any. Because it does have a lot of lore. Oh. Is this another one of those plants? Let's fill base this basin up with water. The question is will it suck down the, uh, the squid again? These all interconnected. How do they have the same, like, vines and stuff? Oh, so, oh, this is Cirrus and Akinar. And there's, like, families, and they're talking about the wonders of writing and the linking books, and a lot of the youth seem to like it, but the adults, not so much. Maybe they're afraid. Pages around here, so I'll go back onto the path. I need to find out where these vines are dangling because. Huh. There's. There's these big irises. At, at least they look like irises. Can I get to this one? Oh, we passed it. Maybe we're supposed to reflect, like, light off of it or something? What can we see through this one? Oh. Well, that's obvious if I ever saw it. Okay, so we're gonna point it at that. So if this gets light, it'll reflect. I suppose we learned about that on Jinanine. Well, speaking of light, if this one's already directly in the light, I wonder if it will be able to shine on the other one. Yeah, there we go. Let's give that one light. Actually, oh, but that sunflower is beyond our reach. I'll give that light. That's, that's another one. What, what is that giving light to? Oh, one across the way. We'll have to get over to that one because in order to activate this one, we're gonna need to redirect it. Yep. Yeah, that's doing the best it can. Way to go? No? Any other paths? 
because we need to go further. We really can't access this one? I thought for sure we could unless... Oh, does that go up and around? find a way around down here. Oh, there is another path down this way. More bioluminescence. This is the pool we need to get that electric thing into. Where's the where's the water kind of suction? Oh, it's up there. Is this gonna suck the squid down? There we go. So now he's all prepped. Maybe he will electrocute that plant. But we need sunlight. And I mean, that sunflower is the contender, so we need to get up there to redirect the light. Still no other pages. I'll keep looking. What's this? Is it some kind of viewer? Huh? What's the matter, Atrus? Can't remember how things work? Yet you explained this class so well when we first spoke up in Orion. I want Cirrus and Akinar to learn everything they can, Savitro. First from Amateria, Idana, Voltaic, and finally from Narayan. When my boys come to see your people, I want them to see Narayan's traditions and work so they can see how civilization can balance. busy working on Relishan and trying to help the Dini, did he forget about the other peoples and let Cirrus and Akinar have a heyday? That'd be terrible. Yep, no more pages here. Oh, is this... I need the light to shine on this. If I'm gonna get anywhere. There don't seem to be any other flowers here. So I'll have to keep looking. Yes, this is back up here. And I really can't switch this one? Well, actually, that one's already under light. But it's the one that we need. I can't 
can't shine directly at that one. Too bad, it's not strong enough. It's only strong enough for, th oh, I can't go to that one. There we go, that one I can adjust. Okay, so now that we know about that one, we finally figured that one out. We can go back down and around and try it. I'm a little confusing around these paths. They're all various kind of like amorphous logs and twisting, meandering patches of like bark. I hope this isn't disorienting. I always wondered if it was disorienting to people seeing the game in the first person and not being at the controls. With Riven, it might be a little bit easier because it was such a point and click game that you didn't have all this, you know, panning around. Also, it seems to like bow at the edges. Oh, it's so pretty, all the mushrooms. So that's probably where we came from. Let's keep going up. Just checking for any loose pages. There's so much stuff littering the ground that isn't. All right. Yeah, that's the mushrooms. So let's go up here. Oh, we have the sunflower. Okay. Maybe you have to go up and around? Yeah, definitely has to get that going. Huh. Oh, this wasn't pointed the right way. I'll point that there so that it's set up. If we just change up the other one, then we should get the light to shine on it. Is this another space? No, okay. Just making sure there are no pages. I never know. Is this a different path actually? It looks to be. I don't see as many mushrooms up here. Oh, there's some pages. The book sits on the floor of the tusk, its swirling panel, reaching tentacle-like arms out to grab me. I want to close my eyes to shut out these false illusions before they suck me into the fog. I do not want those swirling arms to touch me. Why? Why am I so f afraid of this book? I want to remember. I must... I think, I think this man may have come to our village, but he was younger then, dark haired, tall, wearing those same strange flowing brown robes. He carried a book in his hands, then two, and he was always using it, always writing down notes. His eyes are covered by thick glasses, but his face is warm and friendly. He tells me his name. He says it's Atris. Ah, so this is Atris when he was younger and first exploring his world? I remember now, his name is Atris. Atris says he's come to our village from a faraway place because he wanted to learn about the tree. He says he'll only stay a while. Does he want to stop our endless labors? He says he wants to help, if we will let him. Oh, Tamra, why did we let him? Keep writing, Savedro. Write everything down. This Atris stayed with us for months. I taught him how to trim the delicate lattice roots how to splice old and new growths together so that the walls of our houses will grow strong. Also, the people of Narayan, like, really live amongst plants and stuff, huh? I tell him the traditions of the weave, how by using the spores to support the growing branches, we keep the lattice tree alive. He wants to learn everything I know. He wanted Narayan to survive. I take him to the rift, to where the sea flows through the gaps in the world. Oh... 
Was Narayan falling apart like ribbon? Steam flows up from the waterfall. The puffer spores are ready to take flight. We stand in the shadow of the dusk and watch the spores begin to rise. He says they look like the pearls against the sky. When he points to one of the spores, it's smaller than the rest, small enough to fit the niche we'd... Wait, to fit the niche? We'd woven into the branches that morning. Its skin is milky white, with just the faintest touch of pink. That one, Atra said. That one should support your new daughter's room perfectly, I think. I remember I nodded. Then I raised my pipe and played. Atris stood beside me, holding his breath as my song drew the hollow spore in close. As soon as it was near, he threw the net and dragged it in. This is what I remember. This is why I said that he could send me his sons. Oh, so... Saavedro had a daughter coming along, and they were going to add another room to her ho- to their house as sort of like a, a nursery, maybe? And it was this interaction that allowed him to bring Atris there. Uh, Cirrus and Akinar there. Cirrus and Akinar. Okay, so it continues. Interesting. And where does this go out to? We haven't been down this path before, I don't think. Oh. Another... Another pole thing? Where does this go to? Whoa. Going down? 